I understand. Yeah. So and it's and and you also said something about being the being the observer and observing myself going into the coping mechanisms or and the patterns and the usual reactions and the hiding or the stagnation or the holding back or the self sabotage. Uh, and it's like there's a screen, like a glass shield between uh, the observer or my higher self, who I really am and what's going on out there. Um, but it's, it's for me right now where I am with it, it's good because I see it and I can stop it before I, I do my usual thing and I can work on the trust and, and the, the self-love and the... Right. Yeah. right. Well... Maybe you can say something about it. I don't know. Well, the basically, topic. you know, uh, yeah, I mean, if some, if you're uncomfortable of being seen, You know, there, this idea that everybody has to be the same or everybody has to be uh, in a certain way is also, it's an illusion. And, and there are people who it's not in their makeup to be out there. But I have a good friend of mine, a buddy of mine, and... Uh, a few times we were talking about uh, what I'm doing and he likes to teach, but he likes to teach one-on-one -on -one. work on, with individually. And we were just talking. I said, you know, my design is I like to be in front of large crowds. And uh, I was saying, yeah, I can see like you don't have any fear of walking on a stage in front of 500 people. It's not like the moment you're walking on the stage, you don't have any fear. Fear comes. And I experience it. You know, you get these sensations. But it's also the excitement of, wow, I'm going to be standing in front of a thousand people or 500 people. And that excitement of, it's going to give me an opportunity to take them into that place, take them into silence or bring them into their heart. I get it. I have an opportunity to do that with them rather than individually doing it. Now I can have an impact on the larger crowd. That excitement overrules the fear of that moment of walking up on the stage. But in the meantime, that this is one um, expression of the absolute I means the the boss, the big kahuna wants to express itself in this way, and as another way, it expresses itself in a way that okay, I'm you know I don't want to be seen, and I don't think any of it is good or bad. It's just the way it is. And of course, it's the nature of the mind comes and wants, wants to judge it. And the mind comes and says, oh, well, you know, that's your fear, or blah, blah, blah. But that's how you are. Yeah, it's, for me, it was, I was also very different from my parents. And so a lot of uh, uh, the fear that they had was that I, <laughs> that I would, uh, sing and dance and be very uh, yeah artistic in my right expression. and they were worried that you're going to be out there exposing yourself right yeah. so yeah i get it so it's 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 just to 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 say that it's what i have to work on now in my life uh, so when I experience fear being present, it is often about this and about my self-doubts. Do I dare to show myself? Do I dare to, to do it? To step out? Right, right. 
Yeah. Well, well, you what you can do. One thing I mean you can do is basically to look at it, to simply be aware that self doubts is coming. Yeah. And being aware. Oh, okay. I'm about to perform and uh, sing or dance or. Uh, and the fear comes of, oh, wow, you know, well, basically it's about what? It's about judgment. Okay, am I going to screw up and are they going to judge me that I'm not good enough? And, but where does that go? If you trace that back. Yeah, it is the I, it's the me. It goes back to this I who thinks it's separated before if it does a good job it's praised and if it does a bad job it's smashed mm -hmm. so it goes back to that i and then if you question that like who who am i who is this i then it just goes back into silence if you question it if you look at it which is a very good place to be spiritual spiritually it because you're really this is a deep place you're really questioning who am i who is this i that is worried or is worried to be exposed or not what is it so you start digging into that and then i realized and i know and i come back to it that yeah i'm i'm god i'm the creator i'm part of creation and so i have to trust that and so that is what i'm i really try yeah. to surrender into that every time i i experience this fear coming up yeah it, it fear yeah yeah. So you can turn the fear, you can turn the poison into medicine. You can welcome the fear and use it as an opportunity to question the existence of this imaginary I am separated. In a way, you know, every time it comes, it says, okay, great. Now, instead of really... It's going to change your attitude to it, if you can. Yeah, I was recording a song yesterday and playing the piano. It makes me insecure. I, I feel comfortable with the song, the singing. But the piano is something different. And so I experience this doubt coming up, this self-doubt. Right. Just having this conversation. With, right. Yeah. right. Believe me, I mean, self-doubt comes for me every once in a while. You're, you're not the only one, you know. Every once in a while, the thought comes that, am I a screw-up? Or should I be doing what I'm doing? Or, or this should have been a lot more uh, successful than where it is. The thought comes. Am I doing it right? Or you're not the only one. It's a thought that comes into everybody's mind. You yeah. know? And for me, is yeah, it's when it rises, and sometimes it's a feeling or whatever. Maybe it brings depression or sadness or, or a feeling of, wasting your life or you're not doing anything the thought comes the emotion comes with it for me when i catch it and i notice it it's there i just kind of watch it i can't do anything about it so there are moments that the feeling of uselessness may come but if i just stay in this place it goes away it's like anything else. It doesn't have any power when you're watching it. 